Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cree, and today I'm going to be doing a sleep ponytail. So her hair is slightly permed and it's slightly natural. Her roots are natural and then her ends are permed. So in order to get that super slick look, I'm basically going to slick her hair section by section and starting off with the back, I basically section off the rest of the hair. So here what you can see me doing is taking the blow dryer and stretching out her roots. Because her roots are natural, I'm just trying to stretch it to make it the same as the end of her hair. And then I'm going to take some gummy and put it on the hair and take a comb and just comb through the gummy throughout the hair. Now that I've got the gummy throughout the hair, I'm just trying to make it really, really slick. That's what I'm taking. You can see me with different tools. I've got a comb, I've got a brush, I've got a paddle brush. I'm now going to clip it out of the way just to make sure that it doesn't unravel and go back into its natural state. And I'm going to take the same tools that I was using before and I'm going to continue doing it throughout the hair. I'm not using the blow dryer though, as you can see, I'm not picking up the blow dryer once. I only needed that for the first section so I can make sure that part was slick. I just continue doing that throughout the hair. So it takes me a while to get through all of the hair, especially if you've got thick hair, it takes me a little while. I'll probably take like a good hour doing your hair, slicking it down. So I'm just speeding through this just so you guys can see what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And as you saw by the thumbnail, it will be a side part that she's having. So I'm just taking it bit by bit on either side, either side. And then when I finally get to the side part that I actually want, well, you will see anyway, just, just keep watching. Okay, so before I finish slicking either side, going side by side, side to side, um, I'm going to just part where I want the part in first. I don't do this at the beginning because I don't actually know where I'd want it. But then once I've done that, then I can continue going from side to side and just taking it little bits and slicking down. Remember to achieve like a proper sleek ponytail, you have to saturate the hair fully, like literally at the root. Here you can see her kinks, where you can see where her hair was permed and where it is not permed. And basically by saturating it through, you're going to basically kick out the kink. Some people like the kink and some people don't, but with the hair that we're adding today, we don't want to see too much kink. But by holding it in the with the clip at the back, it's going to stretch out the kink to make it more flat. And we are all done. As you can see, there is no kinks. That's how you achieve a sleek ponytail. So we're gonna move on now to adding the hair. And I just take a bit of expression or impression, just a little bit, and add it onto the end of your hair. It doesn't even matter if your hair is long, it doesn't even matter if it's short, I just add it in, just to give it that little reinforcement. And then I'm just gonna add it in and then put a rubber band on the end of it and cut off the end. these are the bundles we'll be using today now here you gotta watch me really really carefully what I do I take a piece of the track the beginning of the track and I wrap that little piece around the ponytail the plait and then I take the end of that little piece that I'm wrapping around the ponytail and tuck it back into the elastic band that stops it from moving that stops the weave from actually coming off of the plait so this is the method I use so you don't have to use no thread and you don't have to use no glue once you've finished the track and you finish going around it, you're gonna take a little piece from the end and wrap it around. You're gonna get an elastic band and tie that around as well. And then you're gonna use the same method on the next bundle and do the same until you get to the top.
that we are at the top, I'm going to take the hair that's at the end and put it through her hairband. I'm not going to take an elastic band for the top part, but I'm going to wrap it round and then wrap the hair around the hair again and then wrap it again around the hairband. And as you can see, you actually could leave the hair like this if you wanted to, but we love to do that a little in invisible thing where you cover the tracks with the hair when we wrap it around, but it looks very natural, doesn't it? What you want to do first is do a little trial. Test out how much is going to need, you're going to need to wrap it before you start spraying the hair. But once you have found out how much you want to use, then you're going to spray and wrap, spray and wrap, little by little. Don't do it just one time because it's not going to saturate. The spray is not going to saturate through the hair enough to harden and stop it from coming out, etc, etc. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm being really generous with this got to be glue. So at the end, as you can see, I'm taking a little piece of the hair and I'm going to use that hair to seal it. I take that little piece of hair because you know when you wrap hair around, it doesn't come out. So that little piece of hair is going to stop it from coming out and then you're going to spray it on top of that. Make sure that where you have just wrapped is dry before your client leaves. The ending will come out if you do not dry it. The got to be glue is there to harden it and to keep it sealed. The ponytail won't come out, but where you wrapped over it, it will. Okay, so anyway, this is how to do a sleek ponytail without having to use glue, without having to use thread. If you liked what you saw, please like, please comment and subscribe guys. Follow me on my social media, it is Creelia on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm soon getting on this Twitter. I'll see you in my next video, bye guys.